In the book of Galatians chapter 5. And Follow me. Galatians 5 and verse 19. All right. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? What is it? Adultery. Hold on. <laughs> works of the flesh. Preachers done divorced their wives. Got the second one. Got the third one. Give me the 10th chapter of the book of Mark. Mark. Let's bring the teaching of Jesus and make it so plain. <laughs> because these two and three and four wise preachers, they trade in wives like someone trading cars. That's right. Wife swappers. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. They ought, to, they ought to make a reality program out of that for the preacher. That's Wife right. swappers. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. All right, son. Mark chapter 10, we start at verse 1. Follow me. And he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea. What is it? By the farther side of Jordan. Yes. And the people resort unto him again, and as he was wont, he taught them again. Yes. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife, tempting him? Trying to tempt Jesus. All right. And he answered and said unto them, what did Moses command you? You know, pe pe you know people, they love to jump on Moses. Yeah. But Jesus, was Jesus. he straightened them out. That's right. What did Moses command? And they said, Moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement and to put her away. Yes. And Jesus answered and said unto them, uh -huh. for the hardness of your heart. Wait a minute. What kind of people was Moses dealing with? The heart For the hardness of your heart. That's the kind of people that divorce is for. That's right. People that got a hard heart. I wanted it to be good in case I got any women here who's that man's spare tire. Amen. If I got any women here and you the second woman. To that man, whoever that man may be, Maybe. you nothing more than a spare tire. That's right. And I weigh him as holding the nail of the message so I can flatten you. <laughs> Amen. Here you riding on another woman's Riding. husband. That's right. That's right. Get your own man. Mm -hmm. Are you that incompetent? <laughs> Are you that weak that you got to be caught on the rebound? Amen. That goes for if there's any men in the pulpit that got your second ribs. That's right. If you are preaching, got a second wife, you shouldn't be up here. That's right. You're not fit to preach to nobody. No. Why well, you listen to the old man? And Jesus answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. What is it? But from the beginning of the creation, what? God hath made them male and female. What did God establish? For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. And what? And they twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain but one flesh. Yes. But therefore God is joined together. Let, Let not man, man put, put asunder. And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter. What? And he saith unto them, at verse 11. Follow me. Mark chapter 10 and verse 11. Says what? And he saith unto them, whosoever shall put away his wife. All right. And marry Listen. whosoever. Listen. Amen. What did the Holy Ghost say? And he saith unto them, whosoever. What about if they're an apostle? Whosoever. Bishop. Whosoever. Pastor. Whosoever. Evangelist. Whosoever. Elder. Whosoever. Deacon. Whosoever. So-called junior bishop. Whosoever. Twin brother. Whosoever. Cousin. Whosoever. Grandpappy. Whosoever. Daddy. Whosoever. Son. Whosoever. Amen. Who's speak in so tongue it? now. <laughs> you can't speak in tongue and your tongue is down the throat of your second husband. That's right. You can't speak in tongue, your tongue down the throat of your second wife. That's right. Huh? Amen. Are oh, you listening to the old man? Whosoever. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Whosoever. Shall put away his wife. Shall put away his wife. And marry another. And marry another. Committeth adultery against her. Amen. Whosoever. Wait, wait, wait. You better read. God. Clear up your glasses. Make sure they're nice and clean. Read, read that right because I'm pretty sure I got some adulterous women and mm -hmm. adultery men in here mm -hmm. that claim they're Christians. Amen. Mark chapter 10 and verse 11. Well, my pastor said it's all right, Pastor Jennings. Your pastor is a liar. That's right. Your pastor is a liar. That's right. Tell them, come tell me that. I'll make them lick it up. Amen. I'll make them lick up that damnable rotten teaching. Amen. That teaching dissolved marriages. Yeah. And in fact, that type of teaching want to give him a way out because he don't want his first wife. And now right then, oh, the Lord spoke to me. What did you say, Lord? <laughs> what did you say, Lord? 
And then he get up. He lost. The Lord said to me that sister, sister Miriam is my wifey, 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 wifey yes. for me. Wifey for me. Prophesying. Wifey. He tell him about shut, tell him about shut, tell him about show, bo, 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 show, bo. Yeah, stop showboating. Show, bo. Show, bo. Show, bo. You old liar. Amen. Your first wife still living? You ain't fit to pastor a cat. That's right. And he saith unto them. Do you hear the Bible? Whosoever shall put away his Jesus wife. Jesus talking. That's right. Give chapter and verse. Mark chapter 10 and verse 11. And he saith unto them. Jesus talking. And he saith unto them. You said you love Jesus. That's right. Wow. He said. You said you love Jesus. Amen. He you said, said you love Jesus. Yeah. They sang that song. I want to be just like him. Do you? He saith unto them. Do you? Do you. But what did he say? And he saith unto them. What did Jesus say? Whosoever shall put away his wife. Now you judge yourself. Mm -hmm. Whosoever put away his wife. And marry another. This is plain. And you got another. Committeth adultery against her. Whosoever. 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 You see how quiet it is? Very quiet. Huh? Very quiet. Do you see how quiet it is? Amen. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> whosoever, whosoever shall put away his, his wife. Shall put away his wife. And marry another. And what? Committeth adultery against you her. You lay with that woman. And your first wife is living. Yeah. You're on your way to hell if you're a bishop. That's right. If you're a pastor. That's right. If there's any women in here who's the second wife to any man in here, yeah. you in adultery. You in adultery. Give me the seventh chapter of the book of Romans. Romans. Amen. I'm again at verse one. Romans chapter Nobody seven. tongue talk too much over this. No. There's an old song. Let the people say amen. Let the church say amen. No more adultery today. Amen. 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 Come back to the Bible. Amen. Can't get away if you want to. Amen. Got to leave the woman alone. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come back to the Bible. Amen. Don't give two cents about you joining some church, jumping around, flapping your adulterous arms, and shouting with them adulterous legs, and another man is between them Go to ahead. hate your husband. Talk Go back ahead. to me. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Why you listen to the old man? Amen. How are you a Christian? Mm. Riding on another woman, another man's wife. Yeah. Whoso committeth adultery. Whoso. Give chapter and verse. Now in Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 20. Whosoever commit adultery. With a woman. With a woman. Lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. In Proverbs 6 and verse 32. Any preacher perform a wedding and he know that man's wife is living or that woman husband is living, that preacher is destroying your soul. Destro that's right. If that preacher was of God, he would not allow such a wedding to take place in God's house. That's right. Who would follow a weak, cheap preacher like that but those who want to be wicked? Amen. I don't care how old you are. Mm -hmm. You got a second husband, you an old adulteress. That's right. This is old, holy, sanctified preaching. Yeah. Not this modern trash that come out of hell like these Pentecostals organizations in America, PAW and UPC, the twin sisters. Yeah. Believe the same trash, all these bishops and elders and Pastors with two and three and four and five wives. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 23 and verse 43. And you in the spirit. You too busy. You ain't got time to get in the spirit. No. Do you hear this? In Ezekiel chapter 23 and verse 43. Follow me. Then said I unto her that was old in adulteries. Amen. It's actually in there? It's actually in here. Then said I unto her that was what? That was old in adulteries. Old grandma in the church. That's right. Coming in with her second husband. Amen. And all her other three husbands, the first, second, third, and she got a fourth one. Yeah. 
thanks to Lord be good <laughs> to me. Right. I got a new husband, Deacon Gressel. <laughs> Lord be good to me. I'm still kicking. You're right. You're right. You're in those hills that's giving your veins swollen, going to be in hell. That's right. What happened to this type of teaching, folks? Yeah, what happened? What's happened to this type of preaching? Even many sinners was raised up on this preaching. Yes. And that's why the sinner community have no respect for church. Yes. And you can't blame them. Because church members and preachers are hanging out at the same club and doing the same thing as the sinner. Amen. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. The holy book says. Then said I unto her that was old in old adultery. Old in adultery. Will they now commit whoredoms? Wait a minute. Mm. You committing adultery. What are you doing? Will they now commit whoredoms? Are you, will you continue to commit whoredom? With her. Will you? And she with them. Oh, what, 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 what? <laughs> will they commit whoredoms you, you, with you, her? Here, 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 here now. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. You that got your second husband and second wife. Yeah. You are committing whoredoms. Whoredoms. That's what you're doing. That's right. But I love them. Love your whoredom. That's right. Commit whoredoms. You commit whoredoms. You're not a whore. Stop living like one. That's right. Get your own husband. Yeah. Well, he dead. Then marry. Get married again. Get married again. And leave these other people, husbands and wives, alone. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Am I right, mother? Yes. Am I right, mother? Yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Some of these women old enough to be my grandma and you upset with me. Yeah. You upset with me and you old enough to be my grandmother or mother. That's right. And you should be telling these young sisters, get out of these boys' face. But how can you run young boys out the face of your daughters and granddaughters when men is in your house like ticks on the back of a dog? Amen. Talk back to me. That's right. That's right. Oh, I can't believe he said that. Well, I certainly can believe you act like that. Amen. You see, folks are not used to someone telling them to their face what they are. Yeah. They want to come to church and just touch the neighbor next to you and say, neighbor, when I count to three, everybody stand up and speak in tongue. Like an auction. Like an auction. That's right. The only thing we want you to touch is that Bible. That's the book. Come on and touch that Bible. That's right. Don't you touch your neighbor. Get your hands off your neighbor. Touch the Bible. Amen. In the book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 29. I was made a preacher. God made me like I am. I've never been to seminary school since I've been black. And I've been black 56 years. That's right. And don't plan on changing colors. That's right. Glory to God, I said at the Apostle Peter, let me freely speak unto you. We speak free with no strings attached. I believe what's written. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse When the fear of God leave church, you can forget it. Anything go on in that church. Anything. When the fear of God leave the pulpit, the preacher going to justify every piece of trash in the world. That's right. The fear of God must come back in church. Amen. Must. Amen. Hallelujah, glory. Tell it to God. Hallelujah. Must I say? Hallelujah. Fear of God got to come back in church. Come back. In the days of the apostles, the Bible said fear came upon every soul. soul. Today, <laughs> they don't fear God because the word of God today is all. Many people would do better if they had someone to teach them. That's, right. That's why I don't blame the people. I blame these pitiful things that poses as preachers. That's right. Brother, the most dangerous position in church is right up here. Yeah. Because you're going to give an account to God for what you told everybody and anybody. Oh, yeah. And if anyone died with the lie in them that you taught them, according to the preaching of the prophet Ezekiel, the blood God going to require at your hands. At your hands. All right, come on, son. What is that? Now in the book of Proverbs chapter 6 and at verse 29. Yeah. So, that he, so he that goeth in to his neighbor's wife, whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. Wait a minute. If the Bible says whoever touch her won't be innocent, what do you think you are if you marry her? That's right. That's How right. is it, preacher? How is it, church members? Yeah. You got bishops and deacons and elders and pastors who got their second wife and telling you it's all right. Telling you it's all right. And as a result of following these dumb dogs, 
Pastor Jennings, I enjoy you, but why you call so many names? Mm -hmm. Give me Isaiah 56 and 10. Isaiah chapter 56 and that verse 10. I want this to be good for those who got offended because I'm not sorry. That's right. I'm just going to call you that again. That's right. But this time, I just want to read it this time. Isaiah chapter 56. All right. Isaiah 56 and verse 10. Come on now. Follow me in your Bible. I know some of you are scared to follow me in the Bible because you're scared you're going to see it in there, but it's in there. It's, mm -hmm. Follow me in your Bible. Isaiah 56 You and might verse as well 10. follow me in the Bible because the Bible is designed for you to see yourself. That's right. And if you don't want to accept what you see, then stay out of everybody's church because you're in two categories. You're either right or you're wrong. Oh, yeah. You're either on your way with God or you're on your way to hell. That's right. Because you bear in mind, you may hate this type of preaching, but you're still going to die one day. Still going to die. And brother, if you reject the counsel of God, the Bible says in the days of John the Baptist that they reject the counsel of God for not being baptized with the baptism of John. If you reject the word of God, you reject the counsel of God. The Bible is not designed to just make you feel good. No, no. And that's the... The deception that people have. Man, I'm going to church looking for a word from the Lord. Here it is. Here, here it is. Here it is. That's right. See, they don't consider this a word from the Lord. <laughs> they were a word from the Lord. Oh, no, the preacher got a big hype. Everybody just run and jump. Run around in church. Everybody gets running. Then the preacher got you doing something else. Everybody just jump. You go to church to have aerobics. Amen. You come to church to learn. Amen. What do God want you to know? That's right. And you come to church when you find out what God wants you to know, you will find that you need improvement oh, yes. on self. Amen. Are right, you listening to the old man? Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 10. Isaiah 56 and 10 says, His watchmen are blind. Hold it. The watchman is the preacher. preacher. The same one whom the Lord made overseer to feed the flock. Mm -hmm. But there's a deficiency that's in the pulpits today. His watchmen are blind. What condition are they in, Williams? They are all ignorant. Ignorant. What? They are, they are all ignorant. All ignorant. Let's see what they feel Logical degrees stand for. They are all dumb dogs. That's what that DD mean. That's right. That's he right. brag he got a DD. He's a dumb dog dumb degree. Dumb dogs. Amen. His approach towards preaching is based upon what he learned from school. That's right. No man is preaching without the anointing. Without the, That's right. the book Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. And hath anointed me to preach. The Bible is telling you the purpose of the anointing. That's right. If you rely on other scholars, you're not relying on God. God. The Holy Ghost make preachers. That's right. Listen. They are all dumb dogs. What? They cannot bark. Hold it. How many of you got dogs for pets? Raise your hand. Anybody got dogs for pets? Do your dogs bark? Now, if you got a dog, it's like a silent movie. Amen. <laughs> He'd run up to you and just move his head and nothing come out. I strongly advise you, you put that four-legged thing to sleep. That's right. Because he's no help to you or someone breaking your house. That's right. God styled the preacher as a dumb dog. Dumb Why? The preacher's supposed to be a shepherd. And the shepherd's supposed to maintain the sheep. And whenever wolves come among the sheep, that dog job is to bark and run that wolf or that fox out. But if he's a dumb dog, he collaborate with the wolf. Mm -hmm. He collaborate with the fox. He go along with the wolf. He go along with the fox and he don't bark, meaning he don't preach or don't say anything yeah. to warn and alert God's people, which is God's sheep. That's right. Listen. They are all dumb dogs. Dumb dogs. They cannot bark. What, what, what other condition they have? Sleepy. Oh, Sleeping. lazy thing. Mm -hmm. Sleeping. How much sleep they like? Lying down. How bad? How bad? Loving to slumber. Loving. How kind of dog is it? Yea, they are greedy dogs. How greedy? Which can never have enough. I told you. Amen. $500 prayer line, $5,000 prayer line, $20,000 prayer line, and you look at these suckers on television down here who tell you, if you want a great blessing, put your hand on the television. The only thing you get from that television is a warm hand. Yeah. 
preacher tell you, if you're watching me now, get a piece of paper, get a piece of paper and trace your hand. Look how a fool he made you. Here you a grown woman and you tracing your hand like you in kindergarten like a fool. Amen. And you trace your hand and then sit there and cut it out. This man making a sucker out of you. He got you believing cutting out hands with arts and craft is going to connect you to Jesus. That's right. And then he piled a bunch of paper up on a table talking about his letters. I'm going to lay my hands on these letters and we all going to touch and agree. And somebody come in your house and think you lost your mind because you're standing in front of a television. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. I want to wake you up. That's right. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Didn't it say so? That's right. And this is the condition of the people. I refuse to go along to get along with anybody. Amen. Only one I want to go along with is God. That's it. And God only. That's right. That's why I stand firm and bold. I cannot be bought. I've been offered millions of dollars many times. I've been offered other bishops, church organizations, and I tell all of them, I'm a builder. God make me a builder. I don't, if you don't want me to have your organization, keep it. What do I care? God make me a builder. We build people. That's right. And we use the mortar of the scripture. That's right. Wonderful. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. The Bible says what? Yea, they are greedy dogs which greedy. can never have enough. Never. Never. What else? And they are shepherds that cannot understand. How you don't understand the voice is wrong? Amen. You understand it. You just don't want to give up that second ribs you got. That's right. Huh? That's right. But Pastor Jennings, me and my wife didn't get along. And that ain't God's problem, that's yours. Well, what do you expect for me to do? I expect for you to do the seventh chapter of the book of Romans. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. This is what I expect for you to do, men and women. Romans I want you to hear this, Mr. and Mrs. Christian. Romans chapter 7, we start at verse 1. Mr. and Miss Christian, you that say you're a Christian, you know you read your Bible and when Sunday come along or when it get close to the weekend, you turn your radio off rap and R&B and start changing to gospel music right. so you can, you know, set yourself up for, to get spiritual by the weekend. You know, you don't know, smoke and drink and gamble and party Friday night out there just shaking wig all loose, and shaking your head. Your old lips is all red like Jezebel and got somebody else's hair on and got pearls and bees and ankle chains. And here you old enough to be my grandmama with an ankle chain. If you're not a hoe, stop wearing the label of one. That's right. Ankle chains and being holy don't mix. No. Let us just face the facts. The facts. Church and looking like a prostitute is not the same. No. And when these weak, poor excuses as preachers tell you, God ain't looking at you, I will ask him. Why did the Bible say in 11 chapter 1 Corinthians, it's a shame for a man to have long hair and ask him, is long hair outward or inward? Yeah. That's right. Old as you are with your hair dyed, <laughs> dye your hair. Your roots is all gray. <laughs> hair all, here you is in your 60s and 70s and hair jet black, you old liar. That's right. Because the truth come out. The truth come out, I say. Yeah. Get out there in the bad rain and that dye just come down their face. All black dye dripping off. <laughs> That's the devil out of hell. That's right. That's right. Be the way God made you. God made you. Are you listening? That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? Romans chapter 7, we start at verse 1. All right. No, you're not brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. And I, I, I want to go to makeup because, and the question was asked to me to please give make Bible for makeup. And I want to show you this in uh, Jeremiah, the fourth chapter, thirtieth verse. After we read this, after we read this. All right, read quick. No, you're not, brother. Get chapter and verse. Romans chapter seven, and we're at the first verse. And we still working on having spare tires. Mm -hmm. No, you're not, brother. For I speak. I to know them many that of you still brought your brush a pump with you to pump your second wife and your second husband back up. But, Amen, Amen. We we still gonna flatten it. <laughs> pump it back up. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. Oh, when that air come out, you are gonna hear it. Adultery. <laughs> it's going to go right out. <laughs> That's right out, I said. That's right. It's going to go right out. Go right out of them. <laughs> you got your second husband, your second wife. I'm telling you to your face. You no more Christian than a dog got eight legs like a spider. Mm. You are being knocked up by another woman's husband. Yeah. You are being ridden upon by another man's wife. That's right. You no more Christian than I smoke weed. Amen. And I don't smoke weed. <laughs> You're not a Christian. No. 
Mm -mm. The Bible called you an adulteress, and we're about to read it right now. Romans 7 and verse 1. Listen. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the I law. I speak to them that know the law. How that the law hath dominion the over man as long as he liveth. man as long as he lives. For the woman which hath an husband. The woman that got a husband. Is bound by the law to her husband. How long is she bound by to her husband? So long as he liveth. But what? But if the husband be dead. If he went blind. If the husband be dead. Lost his hair. Be dead. Lost his teeth. Be dead. In jail. Be dead. Went to war. Be dead. Became a Democrat. If the husband be dead. A Republican. Be dead. Work for Parliament. Be dead. Liberal. Dead. What gotta happen? But if the husband be dead. Dying. Dead. How many here don't know what dead is? Raise your hand. Amen. How many who don't know what dead is? Don't know what it is. Somebody had their hand up. Hey, you don't, don't know what dead is? You <laughs> Amen. I want you to get this. But if the husband be dead. You, I'm telling you, this is God's law. And I don't care how fine you think you are. I don't care how much money he make. Your dignity should outweigh the dollars that man stuffing down your bra. Go ahead, brother. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. Your dignity and self-respect should outweigh dollars. You can't pass up money. You can't pass up a decent car. You got a choice. Pass it up or go to hell. That's right. You're going to burn. You're going to burn. And while you burning, God going to bring this message right back to your mind while you falling and hollering and screaming in the heat of hell. That's right. Listen. For the woman which hath an husband. The Bible speaks plain. The woman got God. And then some folk get the attitude. Hmm, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. Say what you want. I'm going back to my man and I'm going to ride him all I want. Listen, you're not hurting me. No. You ain't hurting me. No, no. Ride, baby, ride. <laughs> That's right. You ain't hurting me. No. When that mailman bring a light bill to your house that say $5,000, you don't need to run down the street cussing him out. You don't want to burn the electric. That's right. When you find yourself burning in an everlasting lake of fire, you and your second or third husband, yeah. this message is going to judge you in judgment. Oh, yes. You can hate me all you want. And if there's any preacher, in fact, if there's any of you got a pastor who justified divorce, you're following a liar. Yeah. I mean, he's a liar. Yeah. If he's your daddy, your yeah. daddy is a liar. Yeah. We going to do it like the Bible said or stop faking playing church. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband. The so woman that have a husband is bound by the law to her, her husband. Her, her husband. not somebody else. Her husband. How long? So long as he liveth. What? But if the husband be dead. Short. Dead. Amen. On a respirator. But if the husband be dead. Death row. Be dead. Well, Pastor Dennis supposedly beat me up. Then the Bible justifies separation. That's right. Can I separate? Yes. Can I divorce? No. No. Give me separation in the seventh chapter of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and we're at verse 10. Follow me. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but Look the Lord. Look at all this Bible. Give chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and we're starting at verse 10. Chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and we're at the 10th verse. Chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and I'm at verse 10. Follow me in your Bible. And unto the married I command. Unto the married I command, yet not, not I, I yet, but the Lord. Yet the Lord. But the Lord. Uh -huh. Let not the wife depart from her husband. Don't let the wife apart from the husband but but and if she departs now the Lord knew everybody ain't gonna stay together he knew that so when people do leave he implement another law what you should do while you're gone but and if she departs if you do leave let her remain unmarried that ain't what the bishop said no your bishop said that if you leave you can get another one then you leave them mm -hmm. but that ain't what Bible says but and if she depart let her remain unmarried no go let her get another man let her remain unmarried what well, well, suppose she get hot and want a man what should she do or be reconciled to her husband you can't yeah. live Billy you can't leave Billy and go get Paul no well, Pastor, I can't stay to myself then go back, go back. to Billy that's right and leave Paul alone. That's right. That's right. Amen.